Do humidity domes make seeds sprout faster, or do they just make the soil go fuzzy and weird? It's said that humidity domes create an ideal environment for seeds to sprout in. To test it, I'm poking holes in the bottom of some cups to use as pots, filling them with damp potting soil, and planting 10 pre-germinated seeds in each one. The first cup isn't getting a cover. The second cup's getting a cling film cover held on with a hair tie. And the third cup's getting a cling film cover held on with a hair tie that I've poked some holes in with a toothpick for some ventilation. Hopefully that will fight off the weird fuzz. When the seeds sprout, the covers are going to come off. The results are in. The covered one sprouted the fastest, but the holy one sprouted a few hours later and the uncovered ones the next day. A week later, with no humidity domes, they all looked pretty much the same. But the holy one did manage to sprout one more seed. Then disaster struck with low temperatures and dull daylight and that's where the humidity dome really showed off its powers. It germinated more seeds faster and with less helmet heads which was a real problem for these guys. So if you're in less than ideal conditions then a humidity dome could help you sprout more seeds but if your conditions are good it doesn't seem to make all that much difference. The weird fuzzy soil did make an appearance in the cups in humidity domes, but other than looking a bit grim, it didn't seem to do much. Next time, will floating seeds germinate or are they really dead like my grandma says? Let's find out.